Hello, I'm Justin Gimmelstab with Tennis.com, our very own Peter Bodo, and we're going to preview the women's side of the draw of the 2008 U.S. Open. Peter, some incredible stories on the women's side. We have to start with the finals of Wimbledon. Venus and Serena Williams, are they the favorites heading into this U.S. Open? Well, when it comes to women's tennis in general, and particularly the U.S. Open, given that it's her home tournament, you have to start with Venus and Serena. You know, they're, you know it's a glass half, half full, glass half empty scenario. The glass is half full because they played that fantastic Wimbledon final. They set a new standard, in my opinion, for women's tennis in terms of the pace of the ball, how they worked that court, the way they came into the net and stuff. On the other hand, the half empty part is that they have the most consistent thing about their careers in the past couple of years has been their inconsistency. They've either come up a little bit lame or they've actually, you know, decided not to play as much, cut back a little bit. And their record at the U.S. Open, honestly, in the past couple of years has been somewhat challenging for them. I think both of them could go into this U.S. Open feeling they've got something to prove, and that would be bad news for the other girls. Well, you talked about injuries. Injuries have been a major factor in professional tennis, but especially in the women's game. Is it going to be a battle of attrition? Who is left standing at the U.S. Open? Well, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a tough situation on a women's tour. You've got Sharapova and her shoulder problems. You've got Lindsay and her back problems. You've got Jelena Jankovic. That girl, she's always coming up lame. The one thing you can guarantee about the U.S. Open is that in every one of her matches, she's going to take an injury timeout. Yet she does always come back and, and, and finish out the matches and, and play very well. I think, you know, I think the women are very much looking forward to the new schedule they're going to have in, in another year where the tournaments are going to be spread out a little bit more. They're going to have a little bit different structure to their tour. And they're all saying that they're really going to be, it's really going to help them in terms of staying fit and sharp and strong. Well, one of the great stories on the WTA Tour is the invasion of the Serbs. Ana Ivanovic, the great combination of style and substance, broke through, won her first Grand Slam. Will she be a factor heading into this U.S. Open? Well, you know, last year was the year of the Serbs in terms of the love fest. You had Novak Djokovic, and then you had Ana, Ana Ivanovic and Jelena Jankovic. Now, people really took to these folks. You know, Serbia was, was a toast of tennis last year. This year, it's time to back it up. So far, Djokovic has backed it up with a Grand Slam title in Australia, and Ivanovic has uh, backed it up with her win at the French Open. Now, the one who probably has the greatest advantage on the hard court is probably Djankovic. That game suits her, her style a little bit better than it does Ivanovic's. The question with her is, will she stay healthy? Now, the one thing you do know is that despite the injuries the women have been dealing with on the tour, that Anna Ivanovic is going to be in there and she's going to be fit. This girl really has set a new standard, I think, on the women's tour for conditioning, fitness, taking care of her body. Well, it promises to be a great 2008 U.S. Open. Peter, thank you very much. I'm Justin Gimmelstab for Tennis.com. All things tennis, all the time.